Salve meus irmãos, e aí? Tudo na paz? É, tá chegando o ano novo, 2018 tá aí, né meus irmãos? Graças a Deus, um ano de vitória 2017 para todos nós. Desejo a vocês todos um feliz ano novo. E eu trago para vocês hoje um vídeo muito bacana, eu tava fazendo aqui minhas pesquisas. Hoje é dia 27, são 3 horas da manhã. Eu tô... acabei de ler mais um livrinho e eu fui fazer uma pesquisa aqui e acabei encontrando um vídeo muito, muito interessante que na verdade é uma pequena entrevista com o senhor Edgar Dan Mitchell que ele foi o, primeiro, o sexto homem a pisar na lua. Ele é astronauta, engenheiro e um piloto norte-americano. Ele participou da missão Apolo 14. Então, eu trouxe essa entrevista para vocês porque, com o seguinte intuito, na verdade. Porque tem pessoas, é, tem muitos irmãos que não sequer cogitam a possibilidade de vida em outras orbes. E sendo assim, eu trago esse vídeo de alguém que tem uma imagem a manter de um piloto norte-americano dando seu relato em uma entrevista. Deixo ela aqui com vocês para que vocês vejam que se você não acredita em alguma coisa, seja em vida, fora da terra, seja em qualquer situação que você tenha que enfrentar, vamos ver as coisas sobre vários ângulos. De repente, você vendo por um ângulo diferente, você consegue superar essa situação que precisa superar. Seja uma questão física, emocional ou espiritual. Tá bom, meus irmãos? Fiquem na paz e deixo com vocês agora a entrevista. Do you believe in life on other planets? Oh, oh yeah, there's not much question at all. But there's life throughout the universe. We're not alone in the universe at all. You're convinced that we're not alone in the universe? Oh, I'm so sure of that. Now, have we been able to identify for sure where the other planets are? No, we have not. Certainly not in our solar system. But uh, they've identified quite a number of planets now that very likely could be life-bearing planets. And uh, I happen to be privileged enough to have uh, be in on the fact that we have been visited on this planet. And the UFO phenomenon is real, although it's been covered up by our governments for quite a long time. <laughs> Whoa! Hang yeah. on a minute. Well, this is big. Uh... So, I, 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 I'm, whoa, this, this is, this, all of this is quite a shock to me. Well, I'm sorry, you haven't been reading the papers recently. It's starting to open up quite a bit. So you're telling me... <laughs> well, there's a lot of information to take on board. Hang on a minute. Um, I, I mean, listen, I've, I've heard, like, uh, you know, crazy UFO nuts tell me this kind of thing before. I've never had Dr. Ed Mitchell, uh, uh, you know, the, the sixth man to walk on the moon, uh, a respected scientist in his own right, Uh, announced to me that, that we've been visited by aliens from uh, other planets and that they, they definitely are out there. There's no debating it. Well, that's the first time you've ever talked to me or I've told you about it before. <laughs> so, so you, you believe in all of, you believe the, uh, the whole, the well, whole no, deal? There's, there's more nonsense out there about this than there is real, uh, real knowledge. But there is, it is a real phenomenon. And uh, there's, quite a few of us. It's been well covered up by all of our governments uh, for the last 60 years or so, uh, but slowly it's leaked out, and some of us are privileged to have been briefed on some of it. I happen to have grown up in the, you, I don't even know you, whether you know this place, Roswell, New Mexico, where presumably the Roswell incident of 1947 took place, and uh, I'm quite knowledgeable over there, and uh, since I grew up there, But I've also been in military circles and intelligence circles that knows beneath the surface of what has been uh, public knowledge that yes, we have been visited. So, you, and and be serious. You're not going to go. You know, I was just pulling your leg about that. That's not true. Is it, I'm I'm just I'm just wondering if I'm I, I've stumbled upon astronaut humor, and in a couple of minutes you're going to go. I was only pulling your leg. No, I won't. Won't do that. Wow. So wow. 
So what? So, I mean, so you've been briefed on on uh, on the fact that that there are we've been visited. Well, I have briefed is one word for it. I, I have been involved in in uh, much of this work. Uh, no, it's not my main work. It's not my main interest. But I have been deeply involved in certain committees and certain research programs with very credible scientists and very um, intelligent people that uh, do know the real inside story. And I, I am not uh, hesitant to talk about it. What is the real inside story? Well, I've just been telling you, we have been doing it. Are they, I mean, are we in regular contact or was it a one off crash or? Well, no, there's been quite a, there's quite a bit of contact going on. I can't tell you because I don't know all the extent of it. I don't know all the inside details because that isn't my really main interest. But the fact that we have been visited, the Roswell crash was real, and a uh, number of other contacts have been real and ongoing, uh, is pretty well known for, for to those of us who have uh, been briefed and been close to the subject matter. So why is it being covered up then? It, it, why is it that it's not mainstream? Well, that, the reason for that goes back to that the main incident really started taking place after World War II when in the United States at least, I can't speak for the European government or the South American government, all of them have recently started opening their files. And uh, most, I mean, it's been open, this is starting to open up and read the, the internet or look at, look at some of the press, the international press, you'll just start to get the stories that are coming out now. But, but um, I've, I've I've had people on the show telling me that when ma that, that the governments are mounting up towards disclosure, to, towards saying that this is the case. Do you think it will be the case that there will be an actual disclosure on this maybe this year? The, that the governments I don't know will be. I don't know whether it'll be this year in the United States, but certainly we've already had it in the last few years from the Belgian government, the French government, the uh, Brazilian government, the Mexican government. They opened their files and admitted that they had the files. Um, uh, like is right. Okay, let me get my head together. Okay, listen. Here's what I know. I've I've had uh, people on the show talking about the fact that the Catholic Church has said belief in life on other planets uh, doesn't compromise your Catholicism. Of course, that just happened recently. Yeah. Uh, in association with a major release, I believe, of the British government, some of the British government files. They weren't their deepest files, but there were some files released. Yeah. Uh, what's happening is at the moment, over the next four years, all of the UFO files here in the UK are being released. Uh, do you think it's the case that we are ramping up towards maybe the UK admitting? Well, I can't say how fast it's going to happen, but certainly the public awareness of it uh, is increasing, the public acceptance is increasing. The amount of uh, misinformation and uh, covert attempts, attempts to cover up seem to be decreasing. This is, uh, I, I think we're headed toward real disclosure and some very serious organizations uh, moving in that direction. What do you, You've had a long time to think about this. What do you think the impact will be on the world when it is finally mainstream news that there are alien beings that live outside this planet? Well, I think uh, at this point it's probably ho-hum, so what's new? I think that uh, certainly in the United States, there's well over 70% of the people now accept this as fact, although they may not, they do not know the, um, all the correct story. They do know that there has been, uh, or accept the fact that there has been visitation and that there's UFOs in the skies all the time that are very likely alien craft. Now, not all of them are. I suspect some of them are homegrown. I suspect that in the last 60 years or so, that there has been some uh, back engineering and the creation of this type of equipment, but it's not nearly as sophisticated as, as yet as uh, what the apparent visitors are. So, as part of this, uh, I mean, as part of you knowing about this, and, and also going public with it, are you worried for your own safety with this kind of stuff, or, or are you convinced that the Oh, no, I think those days are gone. That used to be a concern among the people on the inside, but uh, I don't think they're knocking anybody off with that anymore or uh, uh, doing drastic things to them. What do you think the intent of the uh, aliens is? Is it hostile or peaceful? 
No, 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 it's, it's uh, not hostile. It's pretty obvious that if it were hostile, we'd have been gone by now. <laughs> really? I mean, what? I... <laughs> we could have been. Wow. We, I... had no, we had no defense, if that's what the real intent was. And what are we talking, what do they look like? Are we talking like, you know, the traditional well, you, sort of... you've seen some of the pictures, sir. Uh, the pictures that I know of, some of them are, are uh, these little little people look strange, that look strange to us. As far as I know, from my, from my uh, contacts that have had contact, uh, that looks that's pretty accurate. Wow! Do you think other people who were involved in the moon landings know about this? Some of them do. But again, it's like other people, if you're interested enough to dig into it and want to know about it, you can know about it. Because, uh, man, listen, I, I, don't want, I know you're a busy guy and I know there's other people who need to... Yeah, there's phone that uh, not leaving me alone with this other phone that's ringing on the channel. I thought it was This has been easily one of the most significant conversations of my life. Unbelievable. Uh, uh, just, I, I want to thank you for joining us. Thank you, man. And uh, Dr. Ed Mitchell, that's that's a, uh, listen. You're a friend of the. E aí, meus irmãos, o que que vocês acharam? Interessante, não? Bom, meus irmãos, não esqueçam de conhecer o site da Rádio Reforma Interna EAD. O link vai ser o primeiro aqui da descrição. E meus irmãos, também não deixem de apoiar a Rádio Reforma Interna, tá ok? Eu quero trazer muito conteúdo bacana para 2018 e conto com a ajuda de vocês. Deixe aí o seu like, comentem, deem a sua opinião, porque a opinião de vocês me ajuda nos meus estudos e de repente pode estar me ajudando também a melhorar o meu trabalho, tá ok? Estou sempre tentando melhorar para vocês. Meus irmãos, muita paz, muito axé. E até o nosso próximo programa.